I'm here at the state capitol and I'm with the Arizona State Representative Paul Boyer who represents District 20 which is where North Point lands and guys he's going to walk us through the state capitol building and give us a tour and he's also going to walk us through how a, something goes from an idea to a law. I'll get a phone call from a constituent. Oh okay so that's a, that's a, a horrible problem let's fix that so I will uh, usually I'll march over to legislative council. We'll sit down I'll explain my idea, I'll take some notes, and magically in a week or so, the bill folder arrives on my desk. So all the meetings happen in here? For, uh, with the attorneys, just to make sure that I get the idea out right, and then uh, from there, they just turn it into the, the, the introductory set, which is the initial draft of the language that usually gets amended, but it's the, the, the heart of the bill. And then that's when I can, there's a front page that has all the members' names on it, House and Senate members, and that's when I can collect their signatures to see if they want to support the bill publicly. And then I'll turn it into the um, second floor, and I'll show you the hopper. Okay. So anytime, when, when, after I get the, the, the bill, and I get all the signatures, all the co-sponsors that I want, I'm ready to drop it into the hopper. I do. I stick it under the frog, and that lets everyone know that a bill is ready to get a bill number. So House bills start with the number two, so the first bill would be 2001. Senate bills start with a one. And so, once I get the bill number, <laughs> then it goes to the Speaker's office. Then the Speaker gets to assign bills. So once the bill is assigned to the Education Committee, then what happens? Well, uh, we're here in the Education Committee hearing room. We meet Wednesday afternoons, and so I will convene the committee. I'll come to my chair. I will turn on the mic, and I will gavel. I don't have it on me, <laughs> but I will gavel in, and I will call the committee to order. And this is where we will conduct our official business on all the education-related bills that have been assigned to the committee that I've put on the agenda for today for all the bills to be heard. Now, we need a simple majority for any bill to get out of the committee. Then it goes to the Rules Committee to make sure it's constitutional and in proper form, which it typically is because Ledge Council, the attorneys over there, they make sure that those things are taken care of, but it has to go through the, the, the formal process. And then after all this, then what? Then it goes to caucus. So the purpose of caucus is not really to argue, to amend bills, to debate bills, but to really just discuss what's, what's in the bill. So after it passes Rules Committee, caucus, then it goes to the House floor, which right. we'll go up to. After the bill has made it through Majority Caucus, then it comes to the House floor. Now the Speaker has to make sure, he has to be the one who, remember I said how important it is uh, who the Speaker is because they control the agenda. Yeah. So hypothetically, the Speaker doesn't have to put, in other words, there's no rule that says once it passes caucus, it has to go to the House floor. So that's up to the Speaker's purview when he wants to allow it to come to the House floor. So here is where what you think of when you think of the, the bill process is, is right here. This is where we argue about bills, we debate them, we amend bills. Typically, you need 31 votes in the House. If you get 31 votes, then the Speaker will say, um, by your vote of 31 to uh, 29, House Bill 2001 has passed. Now it has to go through the exact process in the Senate. Well, so no wonder n nothing happens. <laughs> I guess so. All right, but thank you so much for this tour. It Absolutely. was a lot of fun. Thank you. Sure, you got it.